Wayne Burgess was convicted of murdering his girlfriend's one-year-old daughter in Pulaski, Tennessee in 1999, and he was sentenced to life in prison. This was mostly based off medical examiner Dr. Charles Harlan's opinion. The child was hit, lacerating her liver, resulting in her death, and they said Wayne did it. Law enforcement and the jury relied on Harlan's incorrect opinion. At Wayne's post-conviction hearing, two experts, Dr. Del Lewis and Dr. Thomas Routh, testified it was scientifically impossible that Wayne committed the crime based off the time elements. After spending 24 years wrongfully incarcerated, Wayne was released. The Tennessee Innocence Project worked on the case and his conviction was overturned and vacated with all the charges being dropped. Dr. Harlan estimated the symptoms could have been anywhere from 15 minutes to a half hour or so, according to the National Registry of Exonerations. All the experts later agreed that the injury that caused the young child's death would have happened hours, if not days, before when Wayne was not present. In 2005, the state of Tennessee permanently revoked Charles Harlan's medical license, citing 20 counts of misconduct.